How to get rid of squirrels in the attic. If you've heard scratching sounds in your attic, you may have squirrels. Sharing your home with squirrels can be frustrating, especially if the squirrels start to cause damage. Although getting rid of the squirrels in your home may seem impossible, you can take back ownership of your attic. To remove the squirrels, you can use repellents, trap and release the squirrels, or install an exit tunnel. No matter which removal method you use, you'll need to prevent the squirrels from re-entering. Welcome to TheGuardiansChoice.com This video will tell you how to using squirrel repellents, trapping and removing squirrels, and preventing re-entry. So keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy! Method 1 Using squirrel repellents. Number 1. Soak a rag in ammonia and place it near the squirrel's nesting spot. The strong smell of the ammonia will irritate the squirrels and make them view the attic as a bad place to nest. This may get them to leave on their own. It's best to use this repellent alongside others to maximize its effectiveness. If you don't have ammonia, you can use another strong household cleaner instead. Pepper-based and mint-scented repellents may also be effective. Number 2. Turn on bright lights in your attic. You can use the overhead light or install temporary lighting if there's no light in the attic. The squirrels will feel uncomfortable and exposed under the lights, so they'll likely leave your attic in favor of a new home. Just like with ammonia, it's best to use this repellent alongside other techniques to increase your chances of success. If you know exactly where the squirrel nest is, you can direct the light toward the nest. In this case, you only need a flashlight to get the job done. Number 3. Disturb the squirrels with a loud radio placed in your attic. Turn the radio to a talk station so the sound of human voices fills the attic. The squirrels will likely decide your home is unsuitable, causing them to go elsewhere. If you find the nest, put the radio as close as you can to the nest. You don't need to turn up the radio loud enough for the entire house to hear. As long as the sound fills the attic, the radio is loud enough. Using multiple repellents at one time will provide the best results. Number 4. Use a commercial squirrel repellent for an easy option. You can choose between a natural or chemical repellent. Natural repellents often use the scent of predator urine to scare away the squirrels. Read the label on your repellent and apply it directly to the area where the squirrels seem to frequent, such as near entry holes, around urine and feces, and where you see tracks. Make sure you're using the product as directed. You can find a squirrel repellent at a hardware store or online. Number 5. Avoid using mothballs, as they can be toxic to humans and pets. Additionally, they may not work against squirrels and have a very strong smell that many people find offensive. It's safer and more effective to use one of the proven squirrel repellents. In some areas, mothballs are illegal to use against squirrels, so check your local laws if you'd like to use them anyway. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Trapping and removing squirrels. Number 1. Place a squirrel trap near the entry point or where the squirrel is active. You'll have more success if you place the trap in a location the squirrel frequents. However, they aren't as likely to enter a trap that's placed in the middle of the floor, so position it in a corner or near the wall. To find the best spot for your trap, look for the hole where it enters your home or a place where you've noticed tracks, urine or feces. You can choose a trap that catches the squirrels for release or a trap designed to kill the squirrels. Before you attempt to trap a squirrel, contract a wildlife specialist in your area to ensure it's safe and legal to do so. 
make sure your trap is specifically intended for squirrels, as the wrong type of trap may cause unintended harm to the squirrel or allow it to escape. You can find a squirrel trap at a local hunting and fishing supply store, hardware store, or online. If you're handy, you can build your own trap. However, some areas have laws concerning squirrel trapping, so it's best to use commercial cages that comply with regulations. Number 2. Bait the trap with peanuts or peanut butter. Put the bait inside the trap, far enough away from the sides that the squirrel can't reach in and pull out the bait. Then, set the trap. The squirrel should enter the trap to get the bait, triggering the door. If you don't have peanuts or peanut butter, you can also use walnuts, soda crackers, bread crusts, and apple slices as squirrel bait. If you're using a catch and release trap, you'll need to take the squirrel outside as soon as you can. A death trap will kill the squirrel humanely after the trap is triggered. Number 3. Remove a live squirrel from your home and release it. Put on thick, heavy work gloves before handling the cage. When you're ready to release the squirrel, put the cage on the ground at your release site. Then, slowly lift the cage door using your gloved hand or a string tied to the door. As the squirrel exits, keep a distance between you and the squirrel so it doesn't bite or scratch you. Check your local laws and ordinances to find out if you are able to remove the squirrel from your property, or if you have to release it near your home. Although it's best to release the trapped squirrel at least 10 miles, 16 kilometers from your home so it's less likely to find a way back into your attic, this is not always permitted. Number 4. Dispose of a dead squirrel in your trap. Wear thick, heavy-duty work gloves while handling the cage so you don't get germs on you. Take the cage to your outdoor trash can, then transfer the dead squirrel to the trash. You may want to seal the dead squirrel in a trash bag to minimize the smell. As another alternative, you can bury the dead squirrel on your property. However, this will become very laborious if there are multiple squirrels in your attic. Number 5. Reset your trap if more squirrels remain. You'll need to leave the trap in place until all of the squirrels are gone. Most traps will only be able to hold one squirrel at a time, so it may take a while to get rid of an entire family of squirrels. Number 6. Hire a professional if you have trouble removing the squirrels. If you have a lot of squirrels, dealing with them on your own might become overwhelming. A professional can determine how many squirrels you have. Then, they'll remove all of the squirrels humanely and efficiently. You can find a wildlife removal expert online through a simple internet search. Alternatively, ask friends and family for referrals to professionals in your area. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 3. Preventing re-entry. Number 1. Cut tree branches overhanging your home so squirrels can't get to your roof. Check the area around your roof for branches that allow easy access to your roof. Then, use a chainsaw to remove the branches, effectively cutting off access to your attic. Squirrels will use tree branches as a bridge to your attic. They may even live in the tree most of the time but venture into your attic for nesting supplies or comfort during bad weather. If you aren't experienced in cutting tree branches, hire a professional to do it. Not only could you get injured, you could also accidentally cause damage to your roof. Number 2. Repair any holes in the exterior of your home. It's a lot easier to keep squirrels out of your attic than it is to remove them once they get there. Check both the exterior and interior of your home for visible holes. Then, use animal-resistant patches to cover the holes, which will prevent the squirrels from coming through them. If you're not sure how to repair the holes, hire a general contractor to do it for you. They'll also be able to double-check that every hole is covered. Ask around for a referral to a good general contractor, or conduct an online search to find one in your area. Number 3. Cover air intake and exhaust vents with a mesh screen. Secure the mesh screen by screwing it down. 
This prevents the squirrels from entering your attic through the vents. These screens will not interfere with the effectiveness of your vents. A general contractor can also help you install the mesh screens if you're having trouble doing it yourself. Number 4. Apply seals around electrical wiring and plumbing fixtures so squirrels can't enter. Use a combination of mesh screens, plaster, and cork to cover any gaps around your wiring or plumbing fixtures. This helps reduce the risk of the squirrel squeezing through the holes or gnawing around the gaps to make them bigger. Since squirrels are rodents, they can squeeze through very small holes. Additionally, they can gnaw around an existing hole to make it larger. As with the other repair jobs, you may want to hire a general contractor to take care of this for you. Number 5. Put a chimney cap or wire mesh over your chimney. Measure the perimeter of the top of your chimney, called the crown, as well as the size of your flue. Purchase a chimney cap or mesh screen that is larger than the flue but smaller than the crown. Clean the top of your chimney to remove any debris, then fit the chimney cap or mesh over the hole, making sure there are no gaps around it. Use a drill to screw the chimney cap or mesh screen in place. This allows the smoke to escape your chimney but prevents squirrels from using your chimney as an entrance to your home. Make sure you don't leave debris around the chimney, as this could become a fire hazard. Clean your chimney cap or mesh screen every few months during use, as well as before winter arrives. Soot buildup can cause damage or may become a hazard. If you live in the UK, there are rules and regulations for how chimney caps are installed. Once it's in place, a building inspector will need to check your chimney cap to make sure it's installed correctly. For this reason, it's best to hire a professional to do it. Number 6. Create a one-way exit hole if you think squirrels remain. Make a funnel out of wire mesh or a thin sheet of metal, then position the large end of the funnel over the final exit hole on the outside of your home. The narrow end of the tunnel should point toward the outside of your home. This allows the squirrels to go outside to find food or water but prevents them from re-entering your home. Ideally, the large end of your funnel should have a diameter of around 12 to 15 inches, 30 to 38 centimeters. The small end should be slightly smaller than the hole the squirrel is using to enter and exit your home. Make the length of your tunnel about 12 inches, 30 centimeters long. Number 7. Bait the end of the tunnel if you want to speed up the process. Put a handful of peanuts, some peanut butter, crackers, or apple slices at the end of the tunnel or just outside of it. This will entice the squirrel to make its exit quickly. You don't need to use bait, as the squirrel will eventually leave to collect more food. However, using bait can encourage the squirrel to leave your home sooner. Tips 1. Removing clutter from your attic can make the space less attractive, as squirrels won't be able to hide easily. Plus, they won't have your possessions to chew on and use for bedding. Two, keep in mind that mother squirrels may enter your attic to have babies. If you remove the mother squirrel but not her babies, you may end up orphaning the baby squirrels, which will eventually cause an awful smell in your attic. 3. If you're having trouble removing the squirrels on your own, it's best to call a professional. Licensed wildlife relocators are experienced in trapping and relocating squirrels, so they can safely provide the results you want. Warnings 1. Red squirrels are a protected species in the UK. In the unlikely event these endangered animals are in your attic, consult the RSPCA. 2. Every year, squirrels cause about 15,000 house fires by chewing on wiring. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.